Saturday night, the next fight of the century. Oh, baby. Floyd Money Mayweather, Conor McGregor. This time is the real fight of the century. How'd that go the last time with Mayweather versus Pacquiao? Unbelievable. To see the media pumping this up for months, to see so many people legitimately excited about this for months, I'm like, give me a freaking break. So much about this absolutely sucks. I'm sure as hell not going to cheer for a wife beater like uh, Mayweather. And McGregor's just an annoying freaking twit that tries to be Ric Flair at every step, step that he possibly can. Look, I understand there's maybe uh, an appeal there from a train wreck standpoint of seeing the MMA guy get into boxing, seeing Mayweather fight again. I don't know why you would want to see Mayweather fight again because so many of his marquee major fights are so fucking boring based off of the style that he fights. He's a great fighter, yes. But that doesn't mean that they're good fights to watch. And I'm sorry, they are just boring as bricks fights to watch. And if Mayweather Pacquiao, which by the way was done several years too late, was largely boring as freaking bricks and bored the brakes off of the vast majority of people that watched it and had so many people disappointed and bitching about it, why in the hell do you think an MMA guy coming in having to abide by boxing rules is going to be so much better? So I'm stuck with the cheering for the annoying fook that I can barely understand half the time he puts a microphone near his mouth versus the other guy that sometimes can't put together complete sentences, let alone abide by decent sentence structure or grammar usage, and furthermore, needs this fight ultimately to pay his taxes. That's basically what this is. And you've got two guys that are inherently unlikable, but you look at Conor McGregor with all the baggage there of Mayweather, he is easily the underdog here, and he is easily the babyface. He is easily the good guy. I just don't get it. I don't get what is the appeal of seeing this. Maybe, again, it's people wanting to see that train wreck component, wanting to see this potentially be a disaster. But I just don't see where there's really a win for anybody, uh, just like with Mayweather Pacquiao, again, except for a short-term cash grab. It's not something that's going to be good for either sport because if McGregor goes in there and he gets his shit rocked by Mayweather early, often, and consistently, it makes UFC look bad because it says UFC guys aren't as tough, aren't as strong, aren't as good as boxing guys. On the flip side, if a Mayweather who's gone 49-0 and throughout his boxing career, and frankly, the fight with him and Pacquiao wasn't all that competitive, now you come in, and if a McGregor is competitive with him in any way, shape, or form, which would seem unrealistic, but is always possible, you never freaking know. How is that a good thing for boxing when one of your most dominant fighters in history has to legitimately go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an MMA guy who's fighting his first professional boxing match? How is that good for anybody? The only good this could potentially be is for the UFC, and in particular Conor McGregor, to start creating a bidding war between the UFC and professional boxing for his services if he goes out and he has a competitive fight against Floyd Money Mayweather. Because if he does, he can sit there and say, hey, imagine if I actually fucking trained. Imagine if I gave a shit. And he's right. And the whole farce of this is imagine if Floyd Money Mayweather, after a few months of training and preparation and talking shit, went into the octagon to face Conor McGregor. What the hell do you think would happen? Conor McGregor would fucking kill him. He would absolutely obliterate and destroy him. Completely and totally. So what is so different about McGregor getting into the boxing circle, getting into the boxing ring against Floyd Money Mayweather? To me, there is absolutely no difference. And even if it is McGregor that can... Go a little bit with Mayweather. What makes you think this is going to be a good fight? Because if this fight is competitive and it goes a difference and distance, then you're going to have a bunch of people saying that this fight was Jimmy rigged, it was fixed, and there's always a possibility of that. And frankly, if you're Mayweather, that's probably what you want to do because you know in another year that you're going to have another big tax bill that you're going to pay, so you're going to need a return fight out of this. Because I don't see how the hell you're ever going to get a return fight out of you and Pacquiao because you waited too many years too late to do it, and then the fight sucked. The only way that this is a win for anybody is again for Mayweather and McGregor because McGregor can't dream of ever getting this type of payday from Dana White and the jerks at UFC. And Floyd Money Mayweather knows at 40 he's at the end of his career, so this is the last couple of paydays he could potentially get, and he needs them because again, he can't manage his money and pay his fucking taxes. The only way this is a win for any of them is for the fight to be competitive so that way UFC looks good and boxing looks stupid so that way we could have a rematch of this crap. 
Yeah, I'm good. I'll pass. I'm not spending 100 bucks on the freaking pay-per-view because I think that's ridiculous. And if you do it again after watching and doing it with Mayweather Pacquiao, you deserve the crap that you're going to get Saturday night. I can't believe there are people that would potentially pay thousands of dollars to go see this person. Why? Paying 100 bucks for it on pay-per-view is bad enough, knowing there's a very good chance. Special attraction or not, this is going to be a shitty fight. Why would you pay thousands of dollars to see this in person? Shame on both of these idiots for sitting there and basically capitulating to Floyd, who wants to have all the control on it, to where he sits there and gets more money from this, which is ridiculous because the fight doesn't happen without McGregor either. So McGregor is a ding-dong for not sitting there and getting a 50-50 split of the purse. And then again, instead of having the fight at AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Texas, or having it in New York or Los Angeles, we're going to go right back to doing what boxing always does like idiots and having it in the gambling capital of the world in fucking Las Vegas, where you can have it reach far fewer people. And then you try to overcharge people on the pay-per-views. This is not growing the sport of UFC long-term. This is not growing the sport of boxing long-term. Pacquiao Mayweather certainly didn't. How the fuck is McGregor Mayweather going to? This whole thing sucks. It screams like a pathetic cash grab. And for Mayweather and McGregor, if you're able to con these people into parting with thousands of dollars to see this shitty fight in person, a hundred bucks to watch it on pay-per-view, then more power to you. I'm proud of you. Y'all do your things, bro. But I'm not going to participate. I'm boycotting this fight. I'm not watching it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. And I hope a lot of you join in too. Because this whole thing is just a farce. That's just meant to help Floyd float some money until his next tax bill comes along. And then McGregor goes and does whatever he does and tries to get UFC and boxing to get into bidding wars over his services. Oh boy.